find out how fish are faring in Oregon's marine reserves, you gotta get in the water with them. This is how scientists study how baby bottom fish are alive and well in Oregon's waters, and it's done with Smurfs. No, not those Smurfs. These fake ocean kelp habitats are called Standard Monitoring Units for Recruitment of Fishes, or the acronym Smurfs, and they provide a fascinating glimpse of what's happening off Oregon shores. Oregon's five marine reserves are the state's only nearshore habitats managed for conservation and research. Today, we're in the Otter Rock Marine Reserve, collecting data on the types and numbers of juvenile rockfish that have made it from the offshore birthing grounds to their nearshore habitats. Understanding recruitment is a key factor in judging rockfish health. And this is about as low tech as you can get. Basically, it's just uh, garden fencing with some snow fencing intertwined in between. And then it's held together with zip ties. And then we clip it to our mooring lines with some halibut clips. Uh, we use these to mimic floating kelp and other marine debris that might be at the surface that the target uh, species rockfish and cabazon naturally um, swim to, to for protection from bigger predators and to find food for themselves. It costs about $15. These Smurfs are placed on moorings anchored to the bottom. Every two weeks, Royer and a couple volunteers dive in to retrieve and replace these Smurfs. The old ones are covered to keep the fish from swimming out and taken on board. There they shake the fish out, collect the fish, anesthetize them, and bag them for analysis in the lab. It's just a natural nursery for them out in this vast ocean where there's nothing for them. Um, they're up in the first meter of the water generally, and so the only structure there is floating kelp or other marine debris, and so this is a perfect natural habitat for these juveniles that aren't quite ready to settle into the adult populations, but they're done being out in the, the pelagic waters. Great being able to use low budget uh, techniques that are super effective in our understanding of what's going on in the near shore. It's a good indication of the fish that are coming into the marine reserve and other near shore environments like the kelp forests and the rocky reefs. Um, it allows us to understand the settlement rates and the recruitment rates that help inform fisheries management. There are some years where we catch hundreds per smurf. Um, there are some years where we don't catch any per smurf and that's really one of the important reasons why we're doing this is because recruitment and settlement is so variable over the years that um, having some insight as to what's going on is, is really helpful for the management of the fish. I love it. It's the best part of the, the project, being out here on the water and going swimming with the fish.